Welcome back players from around the world to another League of Legends Top 5 Plays here on Potato Monster. With only 5 episodes left until week 200, we're working behind the scenes on a little surprise that I know you guys will love, so until then, let's keep up the hype and enjoy the episodes on the road to get there. Beginning with our number 5 play, we have Aki 024 on Galio, and with everything just about dead even, this next fight is crucial. All of a sudden, the enemy Amumu engages, and despite the immediate CC, he lands a massive ult, but then Galio responds with a flash into a 5-man ultimate to lock down the enemy team and allow his teammates to go ham and get the instant 4 for nothing. The friendly Quinn chases down Corky to make it an ace and put them ahead. Coming in at our number 4 spot, we have Benjamin on Zed with some insane jukes to evade and escape. We start this play with him looking for a pick, but he quickly realizes that Fizz isn't alone and now he's being pushed into enemy territory. He ults Shaka, but the Deceive doesn't allow for follow-up damage, so he pieces out with a shadow and three people chasing. Just like that, he teleports back and cues to surprise Shaka for the kill as the enemy team does a 180. With nowhere else really to go and his cooldowns up, he plots his escape route and waits. He makes a break for the other brush and then plays the line of sight extremely well, completely crossing up Fizz with his jukes. The fish goes ham, but he swaps to dodge the trickster and then takes the lantern to safety. Oh wait! Whew. As we just saw, teammates can be there at the right time to be your saving grace, but having a teammate that can recognize an opening when they see one can win you the game, and that's evident in our next play from AH Mayawal on Lee Sin. With the enemy team aggressing towards him, he stays in the front line for his team to be ready with the kickback if needed. When Rango jumps in, he doesn't hesitate to kick him back into all of red team so that Katarina and Yasuo can use the CC to run rampant for the huge turnaround play. After waiting for Thresh's Guardian Angel, they catch Ari with a flash from Vayne to lock down the ace. Let's check out that turnaround one more time before moving on. Landing in at second place, we have Cole Mag on Zareth, who pulls out the clutch when his team needs it most. Right off the bat, we see Vi engage as the fight erupts and cooldowns are exchanged on both ends. Zareth stays out of the fight, auto-attacking to trigger his passive and keep up his mana while using his spells as they come up. Zed dives in deep onto Jinx as he somehow manages to escape as red team start to peace out. Zareth doesn't have his ultimate up quite yet, but out of nowhere he lands a max range Q on Zed as he gets chunked down. He stuns while sidestepping her ball and then a super clutch heal from Dangerous Game comes in to combat the auto attack as he gets the kill and then immediately snags the quad off another Q. Blue team and for our number one pro play for this week, we have Blizzard on Lucian with a bunch of huge outplays to rack up multiple kills. We start this play in the top lane as the friendly blue team try to buy time for backup to arrive. Lucian jumps right in on Vi, getting her extremely low, but she breaks on his side and he switches targets to Braum for now. Once he secures the first kill, he turns to finish off Vi with a nice calling and then looks to head back towards top lane to see what he can do. Lucian rushes straight in and dodges the tornado, getting off a lot of damage, and then he flashes to dodge the spear and get on the right side of the wall to finish the job. With the heal speed up, he decides to kite away from this massive creep wave while stutter stepping, and then he eats to avoid the all-in. He then aligns himself for the brilliant Q to snipe out Ezreal and make it a penta. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have Who My You with a classic samurai battle in the mid lane. As this 1v1 battle commences, we have another HyperX Cloud headset giveaway to go over with you guys. There's been so much hype around these headsets, especially over the past couple of months, and it's an honor to be able to give away one to a lucky and loyal fan. The rules to enter the giveaway are simple. Head over to the Rafflecopter link provided at the top of the description box and redeem your entries. If you want to maximize your chances of winning, you can earn a possible 4 entries in this drawing by following the steps over on Rafflecopter. Trust me guys, for a headset like this and for how simple it is to enter, it's definitely worth checking out and for those who maybe are on the fence about outright buying it, I'll provide a link for you guys to check it out in the description box down below. Thanks again for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed the episode and let's get hyped as we move towards week 200. Take care and I'll see you back here soon. outbreak many people were infected what are you talking about you are patient zero and we have to carry you back to hyper x labs right now ah! we're just these fighters hyper x we may not be fighting side by side anymore but we're still a team gg